Happy New Year everyone in YouTube land. I am back with a review. As promised, I said that I would review the 2003 Biddy Twin Snowsuits. And so here the snowsuits are. And here are the Biddy Twins with their snowsuits. I also have the toboggan sled for anyone who's interested who wants to know some information about the sled. Um, starting with the boy, this is my boy Biddy Twin doll. His name is Logan Sterling, and that's what I named him at least. Um, I like how, I'm just going to jump right into it. I like how his snowsuit is a beautiful color blue. It's like a sky blue with robin egg blue buttons that are just adorable. Um, some people would even want to classify this as like a Tiffany blue, uh, just because of the faux fur on his cuffs and um, his soft mittens, the color on the mittens, as well as the lining that's surrounding the hood of his jacket. Um, also the blue stars, or some of the blue stars on his coat seeming to be that same color blue, but I'm going to call it Robin Egg Blue just because I think the buttons are so adorable in the spring. Um, when I see pictures of Robin Eggs, they seem like they're this nice classic Easter, um, Easter Egg Blue. A lot of times Easter eggs are modeled after um, Robin's eggs, I believe, but um, I would probably have to research if that's the right color, but I just think that it is. Anyway, um, so the buttons are adorable. That's obviously caught my eye. And I, speaking of eyes, I like how his eyes are a classic blue color. He might even be getting a tinge of silver eye, but again, I'm not phased by it because sometimes that happens to older dolls. So when that time does come for me to replace his eyes, um, I'll gladly do it. I don't think it's going to really distort the value and the quality of this doll if I get his eyes replaced, even though he has those soft lashes. Um, to me, that's not the most important part of this doll. So I like how his eye color does match the pretty blue in his overall outfit. Um, the outfit is in two parts. It has a jacket as well as some pants. Now this is where the review becomes a little questionable. When I looked at other sources back in 2003, it says that this, his jacket and his pants are reversible. However, when I looked at the lining, the inside lining of his jacket, it does not look like a reversible jacket just because you can see the seams and whatnot. And even the overall lining is a whole different color, blue and material. It's like a nylon, or um, maybe that is taffeta because this is described as a taffeta outfit. And um, his pants, sorry guys, I'm kind of struggling here, but his pants, they do seem like they're reversible. So when I read the review, or at least one of the sources of the review, it said that his coat or his jacket and his pants are reversible, but I think the person meant to say that his pants are reversible and not the jacket. All right, so let's go back into the quality of the jacket. Sorry about that, I'm back. The jacket is described as a taffeta, but it's also quilted. It feels very much like um, a bomber jacket, if you guys remember what a bomber jacket feels like. That's what this feels like. I like how the buttons are snap buttons, so the quality is amazing. There's no chance of snagging this. The lining, uh, the fuzzy lining follows um, this path, so all the way around the hood. And he also has fuzzy mittens that have an embroidered star, so you can look and see how beautiful the stitching is on this. I mean, it's excellent quality. Even the quality of the crisscrosses, all this work over here, this is all left out of the reviews. Look at the stars and look how much stitching went into the star detail or detailing of this coat. 
The fact that this is a two piece is very nice because the girl has a one piece snowsuit. So I really do like that. Um, I like the fact that you can see the quality from top to bottom. Now let's talk about the boots. The boots are nylon, but look at the quality of the boots. I mean, they're very sturdy, very nice. Um, the soles are even nice. Look at that. So it, it actually looks like you could actually take him out in the snow, but don't because you're never going to be able to recover your doll if that happens uh, because these dolls are not waterproof. Um, but yeah, look at all that. Isn't that nice? So it actually looks like a real snowsuit. And it's a shame because I haven't seen this kind of quality in present day American Girl. Um, this is an old retired outfit, but yet I haven't seen any reviews on YouTube that have really done this outfit justice. So now we're going to look at the back. The back I mean, this is quality, guys. This is how you know American Girl really had money to spend back in the day. Um, because look at this plush little fuzzy star. I mean, look how cute. That's just an added detail that is so unnecessary. But yet, it's like they just wanted to please their customers with this extra little add-on because they didn't really need to do this, but they did. And you didn't really have to pay extra. It's not like they had to gloat that, hey, we're giving you a freebie, something like this as an added detail fixture to make your outfit even cuter. <laughs> they just knew to do that. All right, so if you look at the back, hmm, no skimping on the detail. Look at the stars again. Look at the crisscross design of uh, the seams. I mean, it's just quality on top of quality. And this is one half of the outfit. You actually got both of these outfits. You didn't have to pay separately, I don't believe, for the bitty boy and the bitty girl. I think you bought the outfits together. And I would not know because these outfits are secondhand to me, just like the dolls are secondhand. So I'm trying to find as much information out there about the original 2003-2004 Biddy Twins as I can because unfortunately around that time, I was still finishing up college. I wasn't really focused on doll collecting or the doll world. I just left that home um, and, you know, my parents were in charge of just taking care of my room and making sure all my dolls were dusted and whatnot so I could focus on my studies. But now that I have a home of my own and I'm a parent, um, I now am buying these things for my family. And I'm starting to understand what quality means when it came to the dolls that I grew up with um, and that were around when I was a young person. So I just wanted to share that with you guys before I go into the girl's outfit. So as promised, the girl's outfit is very different from the boys, but it's still exceptionally nice. Um, I gave her a little a hair accessory that would match her lavender outfit. Again, it's made of the same material. It still has the fuzzy mittens. It still has the faux fur on the jacket. It has that taffeta quilted look all the way down from top to bottom. She has similar boots, but the boots are different in color to match her snowsuit. So they're gonna be more on the lavender side, but still still yet the same quality. You still get that at the very bottom. And um, again, if you turn her over, you get that really nice added detail of the faux star hanging down. So um, with the toboggan sled, it has wheels. It's really nice. It has that plush, um, <laughs> that plushness that they can sit on. It has nice little star details 
It has a nice little uh, tribute to the star on their snowsuits, and it has wheels on the bottom so you don't scratch up your floor. So guys, this is a really overall nice outfit or nice set for your Biddy Twins. If you ever are in the market where you can find all of these items, for the winter display of the 2003 Biddy Twins and their snowsuits, as well as toboggan, I think it's a good investment. Go ahead and go ahead and get it or pick it up in sections. If they sell them together, definitely get it together because I think it's a good deal. These twins are adorable and I really feel like I did a great job finding them. So I really lucked out. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later because I hear my little youngest who um, is crying, so I really want to check on him, and um, because that's just part of, you know, good parenting. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later.